here is where my mother grew up as a, as a nomad. So she lived out here with her elders, her old people, uh, the Nalababrini. Dad took on a job as a dogger, patrolling what's largely mum's traditional territories. You know, one of my earliest memories of, with my parents is uh, often camping on the end, edges of the sand dunes. This road is the old Yewara. Well, Yewara means uh, the road or the highway or the, the way, the track. So where the wheel tracks are today in, in this country and in many countries, it's the, the walking trails of uh, my ancestors before they got into motor cars. And we still travel those routes today. And there we're coming into Milji, that rock. And Milji basically means fingernail. And this rock in the Jogurba, the dream time, represents a fingernail. It's a fingernail left behind by Mamu who was eating, eating people. So Mamu are cannibalistic uh, creatures that they often trick people and kill them and uh, eat them. That's a proper greeting for a sacred, sacred rock. This story is important to my people, Ngalia people. The Ngalia people uh, were a branch of the Manjuljara people and we speak Ngalia. Being able to work with the Ngalia language, I'm able to understand the country better. So one example of that is the place Badaboga. And Badaboga is a rock hole or a wanlo, surrounded by these Wirinyamri trees. Buga is like a bit of a covering, a cover over. And if you think about that, uh, Badaboga is you cover over that uh, waterhole. When you go to that place, you know to expect to not necessarily find it open. And that's how the language relates to giving people insights to country.